Cultivated land can host a big variety of different insects, most of which are harmless. Some of them are even useful, and then there are those that cause serious trouble. Pests, like the cotton bollworm. Laying its eggs into the fruit, it can destroy an entire harvest. Up until today, the answer to this issue was the extensive use of pesticides, killing not only the troublemakers, but all insects. The Olefine Project wants to change this. The Olefine Project believes in the power of love instead of poison. In other words, they want to use pheromones. Pheromones are signal molecules used by uh, insects, specifically female insects, to attract uh, mating partners. Produced by the female insects, they attract their male counterpart. For them, pheromones work like a navigation system. They follow the smell. They find each other, mate and lay their eggs. Eggs that later unfold their destructive nature as larvae. The use of pheromones instead of pesticides is like spamming the insect's GPS system. For the male, all of a sudden, it smells like females are everywhere, confusing it to the extent that it will not find its mating partner anymore. No mating, no eggs, no larvae, and most important, no harm to other insects, as pheromones are species-specific. What sounds like a romantic comedy among insects works already well in some high-value crops such as apples. But so far, only there, as the chemical production of pheromones is cost-intensive. The way pheromones are produced now is uh, by chemical synthesis. In contrast, producing them biologically, they are very, uh, very inexpensive. But how does nature produce these pheromones? Insects are able to create so-called enzymes, large molecules, that work like a machine and modify or assemble other molecules. In our case, they assemble pheromones. The building plan for those enzymes is within the insect's DNA and can be transferred into another organism, such as yeast. Dimitris contacted us about five years ago and asked whether we could try to make some of their pheromones uh, using uh, cell factories. So the first step is to decode which enzymes uh, the insect is using. The next step is to express these enzymes in the yeast cell factory. And finally, you need to optimize both the cell factory and the fermentation process to make as much of this pheromone as possible. The pheromones can now be produced in large fermenters, using yeast as a host organism instead of insects. Here in the Thessaloniki area, the yeast-produced pheromones are tested. And we compare the pheromones that are produced uh, by the olefine to those that are chemically synthesized. So far, the results are promising. The, the first results that we have from the fields indicate that they act in the same way. Facing these positive results, the Olefine partners are optimistic that in the near future, pheromones can replace pesticides in many areas, where today the cost would be the main obstacle. That's good news for the farmers, good news for the consumers, and especially good news for a lot of bugs out there.